Hi, this is a video depicting the differences between the LED tube, the T8 version, and a fluorescent light, a CFL tube, just comparing and a little discussion on uh, some important aspects that one needs to consider if you are converting your fittings from uh, fluorescent to LED. Right, let's start with the bulbs, the tubes themselves. This is the fluorescent tube. This is a used fluorescent tube. You can see it has two connected, two pins on, on, the, on the one side and two pins on the other side. Now the LED tube also has two pins on the one side and two pins on the other side. However, in terms of this tube, the LED only needs to be fed power through one side of the tube. And that's why it actually says there live neutral and it shows that the um, power and the, the AC needs to be connected to the live and the neutral. The other side is just a dummy side really just to hold it in place. Now very important is not all LED tubes are the same. So it is quite important to look at the uh, instructions that come with your LED tube. Now in terms of this LED D tube it again shows the live and the neutral is only connected to one side of the tube. Now why would you change a fluorescent light to an LED? And the reason is, is the power saving because this tube is 35 watts. This is a standard fluorescent light tube which would be fitted into this uh, fitting you can see I've, I've already opened this I'm going to do another video on how to retrofit this and the fitting would be like that and really either of these could be inserted into this uh, fitting however there has to be some change to the fitting because the LED needs a direct connection to the AC while the uh, fluorescent fluorescent tube needs to go through uh, needs to be filtered that's why there is a uh, inductor a capacitor and there's actually a starter um, that would be here and if it was an electronic uh, ballast then um, we would just uh, we wouldn't have this but it would still need a starting circuit now the main reason is the lifespan and the saving of electricity. As I said, the original fluorescent light is 35 watts while the LED is only 18 watts. Is it truly a saving? Yes, it is truly a saving, but we must compare the lumens. Lumens is a very important measure of uh, lighting and according to the manufacturer of this tube, they are rating their unit at 18 watts, uh, the temperature is 4500, at 1440 lumens. And do all 18 watt uh, LED tubes uh, have 440 lumens? No, it depends on the manufacturer and how they were made. So in the case of this tube, it is, in the case of this tube, I should expect to get uh, quite a saving. It is um, literally 50% saving because this is 35 watts and the LED is 18 watts per tube. Now the next uh, important aspect about why one would change to a LED is the lifespan. These, the, hours, these, the hours that um, are specified for a standard fluorescent light are far lower than the useful hours of an LED tube. So you should be able to get about five times the lifespan of, uh, from an LED tube. Now in terms of this manufacturer, again, not all manufacturers are the same. They are rating their tube on 50,000 hours, assuming that it's on eight hours a day. So that's an important thing, is how many hours will you get out of the tube? So when you are buying your tube, you must look for that. The next item that differentiates these two uh, options in, in lighting is that the LED does not require a filter, an inductor or a capacitor. So I will do a video on how to retrofit 
this uh, um, fitting to allow me to now use it with an LED because the LED needs a direct connection to the AC. Uh, that means that inside this tube there is a regulating circuit and probably a bridge rectifier because the LED is working on DC. So inside you, and it is quite a lot heavier than the fluorescent light and I can actually weigh them and, uh, and demonstrate the difference in weight between the two bulbs. Right, I'm going to weigh these two bulbs just to get an idea of the difference in, uh, in how much their mass is. Um, the fluorescent tube is 158 grams and the LED tube is sitting at 271 grams. So you can give you an idea of the additional electronics which are inserted in the LED tube. Now another aspect that differentiates these two uh, options is the fluorescent light uh, shines, its beam angle is 360 degrees, which means when you install fluorescent lights, you should be using reflectors in order to get all the light shining in the direction you want. The LED on the other hand, if we had to cut this in half, we'll see a strip of LED, uh, LEDs placed in this tube. And that is why there is a tone differential. The, the, it's, uh, this is much uh, uh, lighter than the back. Now, almost no um, light will be sh shining through the back because that is the back of the LED, whereas the LED is placed on the uh, stuck down on the back of this, which is inside here, and therefore the beam angle, although it does say 360 degrees, it is not. It is much less than the um, the standard fluorescent which also impacts the lumens because measuring lumens there's a standard on how to measure uh, lumens and it depends where you stand and how far you are so with the more focused beam more focused light distribution of the led even though it, it has less lumens it is focused in a better way because they can the, a lot of lumens are lost on the fluorescent tube at the back of the, uh, or towards the ceiling, if you, especially if you don't have reflectors. So that is a quick introduction to the di difference between the LED and the fluorescent.